Howdy folks, TJ here. Today I think is the day for me to do the update to my ZX Spectrum Next. The last video I did was basically a boot up and kind of general walk around. But I think it's time to do that update. And uh, that way I get the 28 megahertz and all the other bug fixes and everything I'm sure they've done. So, over to my right I have my MacBook Pro, an older 2014 or, yeah, 14. And I've got a little uh, SD card reader that takes the little uh, micro SD cards. Because from what I gather, on the next, taking that little card out, the full-size SD card, is a little bit of a bear. It's not one of those push in and it clinks out far enough to where you can grab it and take it. So other people have just said, well, why take out the whole thing? Why don't you just kind of get your fingers in there and grab the little card and pull it out? So that's what I think I'm going to try to do and use one of these instead. I decided just as a preventative measure to um, boot up my next for last time, making sure that everything works before I do this update and put a card in and does it work still. Uh, so I have it running behind me and I'm going to go ahead and uh, unplug it and together let's see how hard it is to take the SD card or the micro SD card out of the next. So um basically pulling the plug uh there i don't have the little switch yet although i think i could use the same switch i use for the little external power switch that i use for this one but uh, the little housing leaves some of the metal exposed so i'm not quite sure if it's the best one to use so i think i need to buy that official or the one that everybody else is buying for the next before i uh, do that so i'm gonna yank the cord and let's explore the sd card so Everything? All right, let's yank. Pull. All right, computer off. And oh, I'm going to turn off the monitor before I yank the HDMI car, uh, cable. She's off. All right. Cool. So now I have my wonderful Spectrum Next. I'm going to have to take my glasses off. <laughs> so see. Oh, yeah. So I think I can get my fingers in here. Oh yeah, piece of cake. So why take out this whole, but I can see, yeah. I'm trying to, um, I'm not gonna probably pick this up too well here in the, the lighting, but mm, it's a little, it looks like it could be a little tricky to get out. I know some people kind of complain, well you should have put one of those little push pull ones in there, but uh, I think this is fine. Um, so, Let's move over to my MacBook, where we're going to visit the Spec Next website, download the current release, and see what that's all about. Download the latest distro. I'm on specnext.com, right as you see here. And let's go to the latest distro. And see what comes up. My internet's not speedy, so this may take a little bit of time, but figured we'd do step by step. So it looks like uh, March 4th was the last update, version 1.3.2. And I'll read all this stuff here, but I want to start the download first. So download the latest distro. Looks like it's step number two. And I have watched this video already. We'll, uh, basically, this discusses step by step, and this is what I'll follow in uh, doing my upgrade. Uh, but for now, let's get the download. So click here. Doing that, and you'll see down here it's downloading. Uh, kind of funny, 44 megabytes. Look at how many minutes it shows left. I'm on satellite internet. It'll go a little quicker, but you can see it's quite slow. I'm on 0.5 of 44.3 megabyte. Disgusting. Yeah, I'm on satellite internet. It's like pulling teeth. Squirrels using a tin can with a string. There's all sorts of ways I can say it, but it's unpleasant. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, edit this part out here. I'm, I started the download, so I'll go ahead and stop the screen recording, and I'll come back once the download is done. Cool. Successfully, finally, after a bazillion hours, well, not that long, but yeah, I was able to download the version 1.3.2. So I need to unzip this, so I'm going to go ahead and on the Mac, I just double-click it. And it expands it. 
And now you'll see I've got this nice little folder. Let's go ahead and look at it. So here's all the contents of what I'm about to uh, be playing with. Cool. So I can see that. I'll go ahead and close that. Now there's no name icon on the desktop. I went ahead and inserted my SD card adapter and I inserted the little micro SD card that came out of my next. Let's go ahead and look at it. It looks like pretty much identical, at least looking wise, to the one that I just downloaded. Uh, so that's a good sign. So let's go ahead and close that. And let's go ahead and zip over to uh, where the heck do I've got my uh, Chromium here. There we go. All right. So I've got specnext.com latest distro. So let's get back down to the step by step. So I've uh, successfully went on to step number two. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, read number three and kind of go through the basics here. So before plugging in your next, get the next SD card. See the image below for how the next distribution SD card should look like. Insert it into your Mac or PC. You may need an SD card reader, blah, blah, blah. All right, if your next is brand new out of the box, format the card again with this tool provided by SD Association, which you can find at this location. Warning, you will completely erase the files in your card, so back up anything you may need now. And uh, I went ahead and actually downloaded this a uh, while ago, and I have that on my computer, and uh, so that's cool. So if you have perform this step with a zero update you can skip that format or skip this uh, skip the format so it looks like I need to basically format my little card all right cool navigate to the place you downloaded the distribution and double click it to unzip which I've already done select all files in the distribution and copy them to the root folder of your next SD card I'm just kind of pre-reading in advance to kind of get my bearing straight kind of like with a uh, when you uh, use a, a map application on your phone, you know, it's best to kind of give yourself a little heads up on what it's supposed to do. That way you can pick up if there's any errors or problems, like it's going to send you into some desert and leave you stranded and dead. <laughs> so I'm just getting my bearings straight. All right, select all the files. Cool. Looks like I'm just going to be basically dropping and plopping a lot of stuff here after I format my card. So I... Guess I'll look at doing that here in a little bit. All right. I'm just kind of quickly perusing. Cool. All right. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the recording here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at the formatting application. Make sure I can format my next card because that's what's basically telling me to do. Uh, so I'm going to be formatting and erasing it. I guess it didn't like they didn't like what was formatted originally. I guess it must be a little bit something different now with this uh, new um, installer or all these files that they have. That's my guess. So let's go ahead and stop the recording, and I'll do that now. Extra precaution. I just went ahead and copied all the um, files that were on my no-name SD card that came out of my next up here. Um, so yeah, what the heck. Downloaded the SD card format program. Let's go ahead and double click on it to extract it. <clears throat> and let's open it up. Never used it, so it looks like I need to install it. Double click. You'll guide you through. Continue. Agree. Install. All right, preparing for install. I know some of this may be a little boring, but if you've never done this before, what the heck, I might as well go ahead and record the whole spiel. Yay. Close. All right. So I'm guessing I must have that application now. 
up in my applications folder. What was it called? SD card, something or another. <laughs> there we go. Never use this. All right. So it looks like um, it's automatically looking at my S Apple SD card reader. So it's seized a one gigabyte card. So yeah, I was right. SD quick format, overwrite format. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do a quick format, I guess. I'm just going to go ahead and hit format. I don't see, let's see, any selections, choices up here. Nothing that looks like I can modify it. Pretty basic. So format. Formatting will erase all the data. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Billy, Billy, Billy. Let's do it. Continue. Oh, my next install is going bye bye. Near my wife's home. All right. Looks like I got to type in a password. SD format was successful. FAT16. All right. Done. All right. So I guess I can quit out of this app now. And now I've got a blank no-name card. All right. All right. So let's, uh, let's bring back Chromium up. Let's go to some of the next steps here. So, I formatted, which was step four. Navigate the place you'd place the download distribution. Unzip it. I kind of prematurely did that. Select all files in the distribution and copy them to the root folder of your SD card. If you've formatted with the SD formatted previously, and blah, 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 blah. I already said that. Using your PC, your Mac, eject mode, make sure to eject. Okay, so let's slide out of the way here. So I'm going to open up this new one. This is the one I just downloaded on the internet. And let's open up No Name. And let's shrink things up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and copy all this over to here. Looks like it's 87.5 megabytes, about three minutes it says. I think I'll stop recording here. Eh, no, I'll just edit that, this part out later. Or I can sing to you, la 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 la, la 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 la. <laughs> Wife's home, she just came home from a walk, so she's probably listening in right now going, what the hell is he talking to himself again? Old senile man. Don't know if any of you other folks here have been married for 30 plus years, but that's ours. So we're kind of used to each other's eccentricities. I probably said that right. Wow, shocking. About a minute. So, so far, so good. Looks like I'm just copying this information over to the SD card, and then we're going to probably... Drop and plop it in my next and see if it actually boots up. And then we'll have to go through that updater part where you hold down a particular key or do something like that and it updates the firmware. I may want to plug my next into a backup UPC uh, before I do that part. So I'm going to have to go grab a UPC and bring it over here. It's probably a smart thing to do. All right. Getting down to the end here my stomach's starting to grumble I'm hungry dinner time you can see it's 4 44 p.m. all right cool so let's close these things here and let's just open up no name that's what she looks like looks like all the stuff that was in there before so that's cool so let's close that. Let's go back to here. So it looks like uh, I copied all the files over. That's what it wanted me to do. I'm going to be ejecting my card from the reader. I'm going to insert it into my next and see if it actually boots up. 
Normally you can wait until the test card appears, but obviously I'm going to try hit D for digital since I'm on uh, HDMI port. So cool. I'll leave this here. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. We're going to switch over to seeing if this next boots up again with my new install. Hold tight. All right, just off the Mac, and I have my little SD card that I've just created with the new download and new updates for the next. So let's go ahead and slide it in. Need to take my glasses <laughs> off. It's terrible getting old. You can't see. All right, nice easy connection. All right, so let's go ahead and, like I had mentioned at the end of my video, I went ahead and plugged um, my next. I've got it on a UPS, just in case the power goes out. It should keep it running for a short time. And I need to get all new batteries for that, because all mine are starting to wear out. Dead batteries. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and turn on the TV. Alright, so power cord, red light, and hit D, enter selects mode, looks good. ZX Spectrum Next configuration, please update your core. You need at least core 3.0105. I like it. Core. Core. I'm going to have corn on the cob, by, by the way, tonight for dinner. <laughs> you currently have core version 3.0. Okay, cool. Hold U to enter the updater now. If you have copied the latest TBU to your SD card. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and hold down U, I guess. So hold U to enter the update now. All right. U. I'm holding ZX Spectrum Configuration Updater. Update file, TBB Blue. Found. Version 3 wants to take me up to 3.01.05. ID 10 of 10. I don't know what that is, but cool. Hardware, ZX Spectrum Next. Yes! Do you want to upgrade? Why? Check some calculating. Doing a little acrobatics here. So I don't know how long this takes. I, I'm trying to remember. I watched the video on the next team doing an update, or somebody did a uh, video on YouTube. So I will may need to edit some of this out because I'm sure it's a little boring here watching this screen do this stuff. But let's pan in my camera a little bit here. See it a little closer. Oh, it's changing up. So check some calculating. Okay, uh, upgrading, erasing flash. Okay, writing flash. Oh, this is the nervous part. Anytime you're updating and erasing flashes. Just notice I have my hands like this. <laughs> Excited, but also praying everything works fine. That way I can play and start working on my next more. So I've been doing a lot of videos for my YouTube channel lately. Oh, updated. Turn the power off and on. This is where I unplug it. Oh, Billy, Billy, Billy. And I'm going to unplug the HDMI cord, I think, too. So I'm going to unplug this first. I don't remember if I read it that someplace, but I think I did. Actually, let me um, go over to my computer here and just quickly look. I left the information up. Selecting mode that suits you. I've done that. Press U. I've done that. Power off. Disconnect all cables. Wait a bit. Then reconnect all cables. Doesn't say how long a bit will be, but uh, let's go ahead and turn this off. Unplug HDMI cable. Let's wait a bit. One. Ah. Two. Ah. Ah. Three. Ah. 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 <laughs> you guys watch Sesame Street? <laughs> uh, 
power off, disconnect all cables, wait a bit, then reconnect all cables and power on the machine again. That's it. You are done. I want to know what a bit is. <laughs> they didn't say wait a bite. A bit? One? That should be it. I don't think there's any battery in here storing stuff forever. So let's go ahead and plug back in the HDMI. All right. There we go. Boy, should I have my TV on? Yes, 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 yes. So I've read all this stuff before. So I think I'm gonna actually, this time around, uh, I don't want this to keep coming up. So disable welcome, D. This welcome program is now disabled from running automatically at startup. If you want to run it again, use the browser to run autoexec.welcome or welcome.bass from the next ZXOS directory. You can also rename it. All right, press any key to exit. K. Okay. 2.06H, logical drives. Oh, I'm going to use the arrows, so 3.5 megahertz, 7, 14, 28. Yes! Scream it fast! Okay, so that's the end. It was successful. I was able to update my next. Now it's playtime. Thanks for watching. See ya.